What's up everybody, it's Flux and I'm just going to do a quick video explaining how to set up the Ultra Nova for use with machine or really any software. Uh, the first thing you need to understand is how to do basic cabling and basic setup for your synthesizer. So what, what I'm going to go over right now is some of the basics. So the first thing you want to do is you want to you want to plug the power into your Ultra Nova of course and you want to hook up your audio connections and your um, USB connection. Now your USB, you want it to go into an acceptable hub, probably a powered hub, or directly into your computer. Some hubs seem to have problems with the Ultra Nova, so be very careful about that. Um, next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna send a audio cable, um, either stereo audio into your interface or use a SPDIF. For this tutorial and the way that I normally like to run is I use SPDIF, which is digital outputs out of the Ultra Nova. The Ultra Nova is virtual analog, so it's a digital synthesizer. So to get the, to get the absolute best sound quality, the best thing you can do is run out of your SPDIF into your audio interfaces SPDIF. So that's what I've done here. So SPDIF is going into my complete audio six in front of me, and that input is labeled input number three. All right, we have the USB is carrying the MIDI. Now MIDI is nothing more than control, okay? So if you're using MIDI and you're wondering why you're not getting sound but you haven't hooked up sound, it's because MIDI is not sound. MIDI is just control messages. Okay, so now that we've done that, I have uh, the Ultra Nova going into the SPDIF is going into the KA6, and here we have our audio devices, okay? This is our audio MIDI setup for the Mac, all right? And what you want to do is you want to set your clock source to external, and you want to make sure that your clock format is the same. I'm using 44.1, and if I go to Ultra Nova, you'll see it here as well, and you can also see it on your hardware. Now, once we've done that and we know that we are synced up nice and tight, you can also set up your plugin. So the input in machine is set to external three. So now we're getting audio from the synthesizer. And if we go to the plugin area, I've set up the Ultra Nova editor. Now, the editor is not any kind of sound, the editor is MIDI. So it's just talking between the hardware to the software, just the control messages, okay? Now, when I bring that up, you'll see the patches. I can change patches up and down. And I can also edit both from the hardware and also from the software. Another interesting thing about this is you can record the automation in your doll. So if you're going to lay down a track, what you could do is um, you'll notice that uh, machine will actually auto map those knobs. So because those knobs are auto mapped, I can just go ahead and let's say I want to do something silly. Let's get a different sound here. So you'll see now that, you know, that auto mapping is recorded right inside a machine. Okay, so that's how you set it up. That's how you use it. It's very simple, very easy to do. Uh, if you've got any questions, hit me up. Flux, fluxwithit.com. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share these videos around. Help me get some views. Check out the Machine Instrument Volume 1 expansion pack and the Dystopia expansion packs. You know the drill. So, peace.